the four-hour work week escape 9 to 5, live anywhere, and join the new rich Timothy Ferris Step I. D is for definition reality is merely an illusion, albeit a very persistent one. Albert Einstein Step 2, E is for elimination one does not accumulate but eliminate. It is not daily increase but daily decrease. The height of cultivation always runs to simplicity. Bruce Lee Step 3, A is for automation Scotty, she's all yours, sir. All systems automated and ready. A chimpanzee and two trainees could run her. Captain Kirk, thank you, Mr. Scott. I'll try not to take that personally. Star Trek Step 4, L is for liberation It is far better for a man to go wrong in freedom than to go right in chains. Thomas H. Huxley, English biologist, known as Darwin's bulldog The top 13 new rich mistakes, one losing sight of dreams and falling into work for work's sake, W4W, 2. Micromanaging and emailing to fill time 3. Handling problems your outsourcers or co-workers can handle 4. Helping outsourcers or co-workers with the same problem more than once, or with non-crisis problems 5. Chasing customers, particularly unqualified or international prospects, when you have sufficient cash flow to finance your non-financial pursuits 6. Answering email that will not result in a sale or that can be answered by a FAQ or autoresponder 7. Working where you live, sleep, or should relax 8. Not performing a thorough 80 20th analysis every 2 to 4 weeks for your business and personal life 9. Striving for endless perfection rather than great or simply good enough, whether in your personal or professional life. 10 Blowing minutiae and small problems out of proportion as an excuse to work 11. Making non-time sensitive issues urgent in order to justify work 12. Viewing one product, job, or project as the end all and be all of your existence 13. Ignoring the social rewards of life the not to do list, 9 habits to stop now not to do lists are often more effective than to do lists for upgrading performance. The reason is simple. What you don't do determines what you can do. Here are nine stressful and common habits that entrepreneurs and office workers should strive to eliminate. The bullets are followed by more detailed descriptions. Focus on one or two at a time, just as you would with high priority to do items. One do not answer calls from unrecognized phone numbers. Feel free to surprise others, but don't be surprised. It just results in unwanted interruption or poor negotiating positions. Let it go to voicemail, and consider using a service like Grand Central, you can listen to people leaving voicemail or receive them as text messages, or phonetag.com, receive voicemails as email. 2. Do not email first thing in the morning or last thing at night. The former scrambles your priorities and plans for the day, and the latter just gives you insomnia. Email can wait until 10 a.m., after you've completed at least one of your critical to-do items. 3. Do not agree to meetings or calls with no clear agenda or end time. If the desired outcome is defined clearly with a stated objective and agenda listing topics slash questions to cover, no meeting or call should last more than 30 minutes. Request them in advance so you can best prepare and make good use of the time together. 4. Do not let people ramble. Forget how's it going, when someone calls you. Stick with what's up, or I'm in the middle of getting something out, but what's going on? A big part of GTD, getting things done, is GTP getting to the point. 5. Do not check email constantly batch and check at set times only. I belabor this point enough. Get off the cocaine pellet dispenser and focus on execution of your top to-dos instead of responding to manufactured emergencies. Set up a strategic autoresponder and check twice or thrice daily. 6. Do not over-communicate with low-profit, high-maintenance customers. There is no sure path to success, but the surest path to failure is trying to please everyone. Do an 80 20 analysis of your customer base in two ways which 20% are producing 80% plus of my profit, and which 20% are consuming 80% plus of my time. Then put the loudest and least productive on autopilot by citing a change in company policies. 
send them an email with new rules as bullet points, number of permissible phone calls, email response time, minimum orders, etc. Offer to point them to another provider if they aren't able to adopt the new policies. 7. Do not work more to fix overwhelmingness. Prioritize. If you don't prioritize, everything seems urgent and important. If you define the single most important task for each day, almost nothing seems urgent or important. Oftentimes, it's just a matter of letting little bad things happen, return a phone call late and apologize, pay a small late fee, lose an unreasonable customer, etc., to get the big important things done. The answer to overwhelmingness is not spinning more plates or doing more it's defining the few things that can really fundamentally change your business and life. 8. Do not carry a cell phone or Crackberry 24-7. Take at least one day off of digital leashes per week. Turn them off or, better still, leave them in the garage or in the car. I do this on at least Saturday, and I recommend you leave the phone at home if you go out for dinner. So what if you return a phone call an hour later or the next morning? As one reader put it to a MIFT co-worker who worked 24-7 and expected the same, I'm not the president of the US. No one should need me at 8p.m at night. Okay, you didn't get a hold of me. But what bad happened? The answer? Nothing. 9. Do not expect work to fill a void that non-work relationships and activities should. Work is not all of life. Your co-workers shouldn't be your only friends. Schedule life and defend it just as you would an important business meeting. Never tell yourself I'll just get it done this weekend. Review Parkinson's law and force yourself to cram within tight hours so your per hour productivity doesn't fall through the floor. Focus, get the critical few done, and get out. Emailing all. Weekend is no way to spend a little time you have on this planet. It's hip to focus on getting things done, but it's only possible once we remove the constant static and distraction. If you have trouble deciding what to do, just focus on not doing. Different means, same end.